Hey there! Today we'll have a look at a pen that was sent to me by Bartek from Acoustic Pens. And if you're on Instagram, you may have seen Bartek come along. Bartek restores fountain pens, sent me this. This pen is to be given away. Uh, and uh, that's all there's to it. So Bartek, thank you, thank you a lot. I appreciate it. I'm sure that whoever wins this is going to appreciate it as well. We're looking at, this is what, what came with the pen. The pen was sent in a pen tube and a little pen sleeve. Uh, it's a 1946 Parker Vacuumatic Major with a blue diamond. Uh, so it comes with a little bit of information. And one thing that I think is very, very nice is that if you're not following Bartek on Instagram, then start doing so. Because, so it's it's acoustic pens, uh, he posts a lot of pens, pictures of pens that he has restored, but not only are those nice pictures, I think they're also wonderful posts because he gives a lot of history of pen companies, pen models, etc. Very well researched, very well written, very interesting to read. And if you're interested in, in, in vintage pens, it's a great source of uh, education, I found. The pen. Parker Vacuumatic. I have reviewed a Vacuumatic a while ago, I think, uh, but this is the major model, and uh, I think it, it, it's uh, beautifully restored. Nice, shiny material. Looks pretty much good as new, so that's very neat. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen tone, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, vintage pen, no longer commercially available, but you see them turn up on Instagram, or sorry, in uh, eBay, etc. Um, finial there and a nice Parker clip. You see why it's called Blue Diamond. Oh, yeah, I see a nice little breather hole there and then usually also one on the back side. Nice gold center band. Looks nice. And then we have the barrel and as you can see I've kind of left it empty a bit. You can see it's transparent so you don't need an ink window because you can see how much ink is in there. And at the back there is a blind cap which you can unscrew Right now the pen is empty and you have that sort of plunger which you push repeatedly while you submerge the pen in ink and then the, the, the pen fills with ink. Uh, I There is a blind engraving there, it says uh, Parker Vacuumatic Made in USA, etc. So I like that. Cap unscrews. Now we have the nib, in this case it's not a very flexy nib, it's fairly rigid, small section as many vintage pens do, uh, threads, and of course the nib is gold, and it says uh, Parker USA, it says 53 at the bottom, and it has that, that arrow design, which I'm not, oops, which I'm, I'm not sure how well you can see, uh, but there is an arrow head there, and then, what do you call that again? Fletcher, Fletch, the Fletch, Fletches, the, the, the little, the fluffy things. And even though this is a major, not a huge pen, as again, many vintage pens are a bit smaller. That I know there are big ones, but not huge. Comfortable enough to use though, can be posted and is uh, uh, posts securely. And then you have a very decently sized pen, I would say. I find this section really small. I'm slipping into things I don't like. Um, it, it, it's really small, and for me it's it, that's a little bit uncomfortable. But, of course, that depends on the size of your hands. I mean, this, this is not a, a giant pen. Um, things I do like about it, it's a very nice material. A lot of the vacuumatics I've seen have this, this very pretty material these sort of rings, it, it works very well and it's just stunning and if you have a nice ink in there it, it's, it, it really looks cool. So in that regard I, I really do like it. Nib writes perfectly so restoration work is, is very nice, everything is shiny, everything is pretty. As I said Nib writes very well, that's important so it's a good writer, you can definitely use this on an everyday basis if you want. It also doesn't feel very fragile so I like all of these things. Another big advantage is that uh, these vacuumatics have a large ink capacity because you basically fill up this much of the barrel with ink. So you have a good ink capacity and that's all there's to it. So very very nice. Again, Bartek, thank you for sending me this. 
I'm not going to discuss prices because prices vary on the the, the, the rarity of the finish on this state uh, etc it's, it's not you're not buying a, a new pen usually Bartek sells stuff on eBay he also has very nice deals going on on Instagram so again I can recommend following him if you're looking for a neatly restored pen like this and that's all there's to it uh, measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrebrown.com as well as high resolution pictures and now we're going to watch this right that's all there's to it. Hope this was useful. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so there we go with the Parker Vacuumatic. Major with a fine nib. And the ink is a Pelican Royal Blue. Writing is smooth, but hard. It's a uh, very rigid nib, and you feel that. But it is a nice smooth experience though, even though it is a fine nib. I mean, there is some feedback, but it's not scratchy. It's quite nice. Good ink flow. Wetness. You can see it's a very nice, rich flow. I really like that. Line variation, as I said in the first part of the review, it's definitely a stiffer nib. Um, so don't think that every vintage nib is a flex nib just because it's vintage. But even though it is stiffer you can definitely get a little bit of line variation out of it just be careful and don't spring it reverse writing perfectly possible you go down a nib grade so that I guess it would be extra fine or something and it does seem to keep up well with the inflow so that's really quite nice all right Bartek, thank you for sending this pen over. Whoever wins this is going to appreciate it, I'm sure. Uh, I hope this was useful so far. Actually, there's nothing uh, following this, so it was just useful. And I'll gladly see you later.